I'm so hungry. Cremator's fault. Do, 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 do. West in the way again and mark. Oh, shit! Hello, Internet. It's me, Dissector from Ghoul. You might be wondering why I'm so festive today. It's Baron Samadhi's birthday. And I am celebrating the fact that I do not have to see him or get him a gift. What better way to honor the life of my arch frenemy than to make a Caribbean classic, Bagels and Locks. Here's what you'll need. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is uh, start on the salmon uh, because it's going to take uh, 72 hours to vaccinate. Oh, to cure, to cure the salmon. You will begin by taking a nice sharp knife and you're going to score the skin on the backside so that the vaccine, the curing mixture, can get into all of the nice meat. All right, having done that, we're going to take uh, a nice uh, healthy dose of this Pennsylvanian vodka. And we're going to pour it into this container we have, which is just slightly larger. So you want it to be nice and packed. Uh, after that, we'll spread about half of this vaccine. Uh, uh, you take uh, half of uh, about half of the curing mixture, maybe a little less, and uh, spread it on the bottom with the vodka. And uh, you take the rest and you put it over the top to cover the salmon nicely. And uh, then you will leave it for uh, 48 hours. This, by the way, is uh, about uh, one and a half parts salt to one part uh, sugar. So, uh, it's been about 48 hours. Uh, you will uh, notice that it's taken on a slightly different appearance. The sludge, all that moisture has come out of the body. Okay, so uh, this is one of the first steps in uh, Fermenter's Rot Gut. But shh, don't tell anybody that I know his secret. The skin has taken on a very... Uh, shriveled and puckered tone, much like uh, cremator after a day at the beach. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of this uh, sidewalk bullshit I found. So first thing we're going to do is rinse off the salmon. We rinse off the thing, we clean out the entire uh, container that it's in, and then the magic happens. <laughs> Gently massage uh, some of your uh, oil. I rendered mine uh, from some babies I cooked earlier, but uh, you know, the, uh, the camera was out of battery, so. And uh, then uh, you gently rest it with fragrant bullshit of your choice. Then you seal it up nicely in your airtight container. It goes right here, back into the refrigerator. There we go. All right, numbskull. So now we wait another 24 hours to add moisture back into it with the oil and the fragrant stuff. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go get wasted and I recommend that you do the same. We're getting close with the uh, with the salmon fillet here. So 
it's time to start making the bagels. A process I refer to as getting caught in a nosh. What they're gonna do is take uh, this stuff here, uh, about a tablespoon of Creepsylvanian yeast. Uh, I won't tell you where it comes from. Uh, we've got uh, about two tablespoons of salt, or two teaspoons of uh, swamp salts, about a tablespoon of uh, this china white here. It makes you feel so good. Anyway, uh, we also have four cups, highly refined, medical grade uh, bread flour. We're going to add all our dry ingredients together, put in one and one third cups of lukewarm vodka and knead for 15 minutes by hand in order to develop the glutens that we need to make the appropriate bagel. Now, if you are gluten intolerant, an easy way to fix this recipe uh, for you is to make something completely different. the dough resting in the oil container and take about an hour, hour and a half uh, to let it rise, right? So in the meantime, after all this waiting, we can finally slice up our fish. This is my favorite part, for obvious reasons. Now this is a sashimi knife. Anytime you want to shave thin slices of babies, villagers, uh, cops, or fish, use a sashimi knife. Thin cut. And we're going to cut this along the bias to make nice thin slices to dress our bagels. It's been uh, about an hour. What you'll notice is that our dough has become extremely large. That's usually what happens to me, except instead of sitting for an hour, I sit for about 24 hours stuffing my face, and I too double in volume. Uh, what we're going to do is take this dough out, uh, we're going to divide it into eight pieces, roll them into balls, and place them on a lightly greased parchment papered baking sheet, uh, where they will rest for another 30 minutes. In the meantime, we will uh, preheat our oven, get our water bath. Uh, ready. Now, it's essential to realize that what makes the bagel the bagel is the water bath. You boil the bagels for just a few minutes, it seals the outside, which gives you that nice crispy outside and the soft inside, just like a deep fried uh, human being. In uh, 30 minutes, and in the interim, we've got uh, the oven heating, uh, we've got the water bath boiling, and uh, I've prepared an egg white with a splash of cold water. Uh, this egg came from the chicken in episode one, just uh, so you guys have a timeline that you can hold on to in your tiny little pea brains. Uh, we're, first, we're going to do... Uh, the uh, the most fun part, okay? We're gonna make the holes. Now, the first thing I'd like to point out is that you will notice that uh, these look a little rough. Now, that is okay for uh, several reasons. Uh, the most important being, I am the one who's going to be eating them and I don't give a fuck. Secondly, if you call anything rustic, it can look like garbage and you can double what you charge for it. So that's good too. We take the ball of dough, right? And we poke our finger directly through the middle. And we poke our finger, poke our finger, poke our finger. Shape it out into a bit of a disc and have at it, just like this. Don't let it get too far off your finger it will go flying around the kitchen. Stretch it out a little bit because I didn't do a good job. Flatten it a bit 
and put it back on your baking sheet and get it ready to go in the water bath. That means the oven's ready. And then we're gonna get these guys four at a time into the water bath. Take them and put them back on the tray, baste with the egg whites, and then coat with uh, sesame seeds, which is what I like to use. Uh, be careful though if you have to take a drug test because they make uh, heroin from sesame seeds. Uh, that's what they're gonna do. We get them in the oven. They'll spend about 20 minutes in the oven and then we'll be ready to feast. So we put the bagels in the oven for about 20 minutes. Uh, we flipped them over uh, after about 15. Uh, let them cool and finally behold. There you have it, look at that. At last, we finally get to the easy part. Okay, well, uh, maybe that was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Uh, but in any event, numbskulls, we've got for you this lovely plate. Oh, let me get this off. Protective equipment Ugh. is always important. Ladies and gentlemen, your bagel and the locks with all the fixins. So don't forget, cool lunatics, uh, to try out all this stuff. If you do, send in pictures of what you've made. I'd love to see it. And remember, never listen to a man in a mask on the internet.